Girl. What's going on? Long time, no talk. You don't love me no more. I don't. I don't be on this app no more. Respect. At all. Yeah, you. <laughs> At all. You be in the sky. We friends on for Instagram. I see you on Instagram with your black and white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I still, I still want you to have the ability to come in and talk to me, such as you are now, because I do miss your beautiful presence. I appreciate that. I miss y'all too. I miss you too. Mm-hmm. It's just been a long time. I just don't be you having no reason it. to come on this thing for real. I'm not on here at every day myself. It's like, <laughs> like now we we do this different little pop-up rooms and under this under the gentleman's lounge for those purposes of you know i had crews that like to get together and just catch up and chit chat because you know, we know it ain't ain't too much other shit that be going on in the hallways that's really mm-hmm. interesting Enough i can't even drama. big facts yeah. yeah stay away from I, the drama I don't even look at them a lot of times. Now I come straight on and open up a room. It's like I already know what time it is in them hallways. <laughs> unless, unless, and I'm looking for somebody 
particular that pinged me in, you know. I'm trying right. to participate and show some support or, or something. But other than that, it's like strolling through to see what's popping. We, we vets. We already know what time it is with that, you know. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'd have been off this app so long, I don't even get pinged to anything. I don't even know what's going on. I... I'm getting added to clubs. They never even heard of these folks before. Mess. Yeah. Yeah, it's still some it's 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 still some good shit that's going on. Like this topic oh, yeah, that we are yeah. tapping that that we are attacking now. That you have, I I know you have some type of two cents to throw into it. <laughs> What's the topic? Read, my nigga. Use two of them four <laughs> eyes that you, you got on. Me. I'm painting right now, so. You say you're painting? About the yes, rap I'm painting right now. Getting in touch with your inner artist. No, I moved into a townhouse, so I'm repainting these rooms. All right. Yeah. Gorgeous. Your ass, your ass stay up to something. So you... you <laughs> You're using it. You're using a lot, or you taking advantage of them long, pretty legs you got standing on your calf muscles, trying to reach the ceiling. Um, um, believe it or not, my long ass arms <laughs> then got up further, but I got a little stepping stool, so I ain't really need too much of a ladder. God bless me with long limbs. So. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Look, uh, you taking it on by yourself? Or you 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 ain't you ain't throw a paint party? No, nah, it was just me. My niece she came in to help me a little bit, but it's all me. I don't like crowds of people. I ain't you know I'm I'm, I'm to myself. You know, I, I I do things solo dolo. I'm being a cut. It. It's, it's no drama. It's peace. You know. Yeah, I'm solo dolo, but I call it professional. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, hey, come back to the wall. I ain't doing hey. it. No, no, I swear, after this, um, the next time I am calling a professional, because I'm tired. Man, look, tired. I, my dad was like, well, Man, that pain and shit ain't no, that shit ain't no pump. Man, no, my dad told me that we needed to uh, get the yard rate, and he was like, you go out there, bro. I was like, oh, see, I, I draw the line at raking leaves. See, I don't but, mind raking leaves. I'm, I don't mind cutting the grass. I ain't rigging no leaves and picking up no leaves. Sorry. I just think it's pointless because they just they just gonna fall again. Yeah, I kind of thought that too until you used to have grass and then the spring come around and you got tons of thousands of them. Your grass and died up under them. No, you you need to get them suckers up or get mulch them up. Yeah. Well, I got a leaf blower, so that'll really do the majority of the work. You know, but I was wet and stuck. That's when you get the rate. Mm-hmm. So get on up. That's real. All that modern shit just got people just lazy. You know what I'm saying? Now you can just <laughs> blow leaves and shit. You ain't even got to. You know what I'm saying? That you ain't, ain't lazy. That's smart. No like, you don't work hard. Thing, work smart if you for like can. the past thirty plus, like thirty years. I remember my that that that's the. We put, used to rake leaves with our hands. Yeah, yeah. we used to leave. We used to, we used to go to the. Uh, with no shoes on. That was one of I, that was one of my uh, childhood hustles, man. We used to go to them them rich folks' neighborhoods, and you know what I'm saying. Then the the blower started coming in. And I remember the changing of the guard. I was like, damn, that was a, a nice little hustle that we used to be getting on, cause they they pay you nice to rake them big ass yards. Yeah. Used to be like me and five homeboys. You know what I'm saying? I got my car cleaned out today by a young man, teenager. He charged a hundred dollars to clean my SUV, and when I tell you that boy worked in that car, cause the, my something was in my back seat, I don't know what it was, but he got that seat clean and got. I was like, I gave him a hundred fifty dollars, and I gave him a fifty dollar tip, and then on what top of that, what the hell, you a hundred and fifty dollars? What you you what you had a plant growing in that motherfucker? No, or a plant grow, but no, the hundred dollar well, around here, two hundred dollars is normal for a detail for a SUV. I got yeah. an SUV, so oh, okay, that, SUV. And I charged That's... me hundred, so I gave him fifty dollars extra, and then so I was gonna buy like a little steamer, steamer to clean the seats and stuff like that. So I bought it anyway. I'm gonna give it to him for Christmas. That's what's Let up. him make his money, cause he that boy that brother was working hard, and he did a good job. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and invest in your business, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna help you work smarter. <laughs> 
Here goes steamer. <laughs> if I ain't gotta break my back and the machine can do it for me, God damn it, it will. Right. Because <laughs> I know so I can't was... bring those seats. I'm gonna have him do it. Courtney, why you just don't take advantage of somebody's son? Turn up the um, charm. Turn see? up the charm. You say smarter. You say smarter, not I harder. Because that means I gotta invite you in my space and invite you in my in my area. And Lord, I see, see, that's that's no way to approach life, young lady. No, it's a great way to approach life. <laughs> you can't have everybody in your space. That's gonna or leave you, you alone. Gonna you gonna okay. be al- you gonna be alone with a dog. The, the catch is, is that Courtney works smarter. You're gonna be making gonna the be boys harder. And that's not what my own you need. And I have to worry about somebody else disturbing my peace. I think that's very smart. Mm-mm-mm. So you there's there's no no chance there's no chance at all that you could be contributing to the disturbance. It's not no at all. No. I didn't say I wasn't wasn't contributing to the disturbance, but when I start seeing a pattern in other people and it's starting to shake my piece, I gotta step away. Yeah, like you know, yeah, he don't he he don't be letting me talk to him like he no punk ass nigga. He got to get up out of here. I don't no like way. that. I don't like that. I, I, you know what I'm saying? He be no, you know, trying to boast up and talking banging. Now, let me tell you, I, I embrace folks. It's just, if your energy don't match my energy, it ain't meant to be. And I don't force nothing that's not meant to be. Don't force nothing. 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 Don't force feminine energy flow see cause right now it's like you know i can i i i feel the force feel the frustration you know what i'm saying the frustration. yeah i know the but i know the beautiful person that you are so i know the reason why you protecting yourself but it's like your answers is in your feminine side you know not your your masculine side it's like when you allow that you're gonna have to that energy that you speak of you know if it if it calm now it's gonna bounce right off your ass because you're not allowing shit to approach you no i allow i trust me i do but what's approaching me is not worth my energy so again <laughs> i'm not allowing just anybody into my area because it's not meant to be Hey, I understand. You know what I'm saying? That's it's. I'm not dealing with nobody's nappy-headed son. Um, I promise you that. I'm not dealing with nobody nappy-headed son. That's that's gonna mooch off. Who that doesn't know what unconditional love is. That that's only here to try to fill a void in. Nah, and that's all I've been getting. Mm. <sighs> you know, you know yeah, it, to fill love. A void. you're not here because you want to be here. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the dating report from the DMV. <laughs> Don't date here. It ain't, it ain't nothing out here but lies and cheaters. A lot of, a lot of us need therapy out here. That's, that's real. I'm telling you, if you want to date, don't date here. Well, Courtney, you've never taken advantage of... Uh, my ex- extended invitation for you to come and sit on your throne in Louisiana. So you, <laughs> <laughs> you can sit right there. You can sit right there and deal with all of those I'm guys. <laughs> all of those guys that's giving you know I'm saying, that you you are uh, uh, rightfully so receiving the hell that you reserve that you deserve right <laughs> uh, now because you do have you do and have always have oh, had man. options. Well, what you say? What you say, Mo? I said you ain't worth the damn. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I I totally resent that statement and I feel I have no idea where that's coming from. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney, your ass get that human now. Get your ass in that kitchen, woman. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> we got immediately. Look. Do not pass go. Lawn and that horse he got in his 
y'all. Look, <laughs> look, we we have we have we, we have help we have helpers for all the that sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> so look, a, 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 a like, chick Reese. You better make sure you got that food ready. <laughs> right. <laughs> I deal with a, a, a chick. She had recently had asked me. She was like, you know it's when i had told when we first met and i told you that i was lazy and when you found out that i wasn't playing you never throw that in my face or held that against me and i was like shit because you was honest from the start right (laughs) (laughs) you know you 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 told me that so it's like when i'm like damn your ass is really lazy you feel what i'm saying but i mean i guess you can afford to be so you yeah. feel me? It's not, you know, it's not inconveniencing me in no type of way. So you feel what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> it's like, why, Queenie? What's going on, girl? It's like, why would I? You feel me? Why would I? Uh, you know, feel compromised in any type of way? Well, it's like I feel like, you know, like now I have to judge you on some shit that you had already told me it's like you know I t- always i've told your ass i was lazy <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's an expectation now because you brought me right but it's a difference if you just came into it and didn't say that you were now i gotta discover it on my own and then that's when the issue comes but honesty is key it is so true. It, it and and you know you might not like that shit, but I can guarantee you. I mean, if you're a solid motherfucker, you're going to respect it. That's the whole truth. Yeah. If you solid, it's like you might not agree with that shit or liked it, but it's like you're going to respect the fact that a motherfucker was straight up with you, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't have to pop up off of here. I got to go. I got to be at um, Afrocentric School tomorrow morning at 720 to read to the children <laughs> so right. Right. I need to take my tail to bed I'm on shout out to my husband for cleaning the kitchen for me <laughs> oh yeah well alright Mo thanks for coming through and um invite no, and, my and- pleasure thanks for having me yes yeah, good talking to you too Courtney miss you girl hey, I still have your butter too I got a little bit left I need to order some more I look, look, you up, look, hit me up on you up on whatever IG or whatever. I still, I have butter available. I'm about to get um, what well, ain't available. I have butter on hand. I need okay. to make you, it up. Um, mix get it on up. up out of here selling that voodoo. You know what? <laughs> ain't no voodoo up in my dang on shea butter. Peddling, peddling that damn, it's peddling that voodoo. But I bet you, if a woman put it on, if I, if you had a woman and she put it on. You would definitely be on her. It's voodoo on my skin and it feels good. You should be good. ashamed of yourself. I like that type of <laughs> work. Put some of that jazz butter on, you'd be, you'd be one. One, you wouldn't know what happened to you. You'd be like, come here, girl. Uh, y'all already know my, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm going to go to the uh, the CVS or something. It's, I don't. I don't do oils and, and sea butters oh, and all this. Oh, like, my man. I, I don't. I ain't taking none of that per. That's if personally made, been you made. You wouldn't. You would not use it. I. I. I would. I, I would. It would. It's I would easy, add it to but... my. I would add it to my souvenirs. Oh, uh, uh-uh, uh. You was. <laughs> see, because I, I ain't. No, I ain't. No voodoo on you. I ain't gonna see. I don't need to be up in here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't need to be having breaking, waking up in cold sweats about. You know what I'm saying? Un, unwelcome ex that that I didn't. You know, it's like where in the hell all these thoughts coming from? And the whole time you done stuck a toenail in my she butter and no, all this type no, shit. I don't I ain't got no time for that. Sir. I did not get down like that, but my. I'm dad, from Louisiana, woman. I I know all I of know the, the different Louisiana. tactics you know of, my vo- of how y'all ain't menace the voodoo. You know where my people, where my people from? So That's, I, James, I, they're slipping in on y'all types of ways, brother. You got to watch them. You know what I'm saying? You got no. to watch them. With James, Nigerian, look, that's <laughs> they got a, a potion, a toenail, a bat wing, or something out in some of the markets. Mm. Bat wing. <laughs> oh, yeah, it'd be some stuff you want. I'd be like, mm-mm, my friends be talking about they got, mm-mm. But no, I don't, I don't do that kind of stuff. 
from uh, yeah, I know. Jasmine better is very um, Jasmine is an aphrodisiac anyway but when I wear it like I have to like when I go to the store or something like men be like they want to smell you they be like damn you smell so good but like alright back up on me back, that's that Erica Badu <laughs> it do be back smelling hella good but it's like I, I like it on y'all you know what I'm saying I like the smell I like the sea butter I got, the, I got the, men's sense. Like my husband loves the the, the shade that I make for him. Hey, why not? Out. <laughs> you know one. What I, smell I absolutely love, and it's a more of a masculine smell. That mahogany teak wood. Oh, oh teak wood does smell good. My God, it smells so good. Yeah, I like more of a warm scent myself. My favorite uh, scented oil is Black Woman. Uh, I never heard of that. And that, oh yeah, black woman is like one of my signatures. So, people see when they had them little brown bottles, James, with the little brown bottles, don't don't, mm-hmm. don't get and that none black of that. Woman. That's where that boodle be drive. at. They be in them little, when they had them little brown bottles. <laughs> you feel I what was I'm driving for Uber, and this white lady was like, "Oh my God, you smell so wonderful. What are you well wearing?" I was like, "Black woman," and they they looked at each other. <laughs> I was like, you never smelled a black woman that smells so good, have you? <laughs> Dude, one one chick trying to she was trying to sell me uh trying to sell me some and uh he was uh this guy had pulled up right and he just like kinda like bagged up and he was sitting in his car and like and she was like, you know, talking to me. And she said, I wish he going on about his business. You know what I'm saying? Like, make me feel like something wrong with him or what you like, nah, he cool or whatever. He just he, he just be popping up on me. I say, so she was trying to sell me, you know, some of the little, you know, in the in the little brown bar or the little uh oil potion or whatever. I say, did he by any chance buy some of this? And she say, uh, yeah, he did, and she started laughing. I was like, "Yeah, see though, <laughs> see that's that's why his ass sitting out there in that car." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't get down like that. Stuff like that comes back. Backed up and shit. You know what I'm saying? I already got one stalker. I don't need no more. Is it Lord. so say that like Louisiana men just have trust issues because of this booty? Because. <laughs> It, it it is present, James. It it is it, it is there. There is awareness. Because I don't do think have I've, to... ever, I've ever came across someone who has such a sense of paranoia about things such as shea butter and things in jars. Man, I've it's seen so things, bro. I've I've witnessed things throughout the years, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, that just like jars are, are a real thing. I remember yeah, my they, grandmother had one in her root cellar. Some woman gave my grandfather like some canned vegetable, and um, she, my grandmother went to Louisiana, and she went to one of the back in the hole in the wall, you know, readers in the back of the stove, and uh, they told her when you go home, you need to clean your whole house from top to bottom, and when you find it, you will know. When you get it, burn it, and. Um, she cleaned the whole house up and went downstairs in the root cellar and started going through our canned vegetables and stuff and there was a box in there with some canned something and one of the jars had all kind of nasty stuff in it she said and uh, she took it outside and burnt it. It was a vinegar jar. Woman tried to put a root for my grandfather. Jeez. Hey man, I mean um yeah, I think I'll just I'll just stay away from Louisiana. No, like oh, with all due respect, of course. But yeah, I mean the worst the worst thing that can happen is the woman actually want your ass. If she's just having fun with you or whatever, you know what I'm saying. And she ain't just trying to consume you. You could you good. You cool. Probably be the best time of your life. But. If she trying to be with you and don't want nobody else fucking with you and all of this different, then you might have a problem, bro. For real. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to stay away from Louisiana. <laughs> it, it used to sound tempting for a little bit. You going to talk about those Creole women and all that good stuff? 
Like, hey, Red Fox, you remember uh, Red Fox was trying to tell you on uh, Harlem Nights, you know, you, you don't want to mess around with them Creole women. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't remember when he was at, on the Harlem Nights when he was talking about uh, Jasmine Guy? Yeah. Got, uh, mad, got mad at her husband, dick shriveled up like a cocktail winning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to bed for real now, y'all. Good night. Right. Take care. All man. right, Mo. Later. Hell yeah, that shit is, you know, like the worst thing that can happen is they actually want you, bro. But they, they, it's some beautiful uh, women out here, real it, beautiful, spirited, spirited. But you, you do have to be careful. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not going to tell you that they involved in those kinds of practices. You understand what I'm saying? Be like, like all the ones who wear it on their sleeve ain't the ones that you have to worry about. You feel me? The ones that look all nice and friendly. Right. The ones who like, you know, yeah, my uh, my grandmother taught me how to do voodoo and such and such. It's like the ones who really fuck with that shit, they ain't gonna never mention none of that type mm-hmm. of stuff. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. They, mm-hmm. they really secrecy is, is real with them, you know. Because that's because they mess with something heavy. I didn't expect them to give away their trick. That too. Right. I, I know enough to know that it was like it. It gets deep when it comes to to voodoo. I was like Haiti didn't get free off of nothing. Like so, there's that, and then it's just like. I don't know. Game recognized. Game. All the time. If something, if something's deep, you don't talk too much. You feel me? Can mm-hmm. I tell you guys something? Go sure. Ahead. It's not just the women in the week. Come on, don't. Almost. Oh, most definitely it came the it, it the the religion and the culture voodoo and uh hoodoo they came from africa so it's definitely more broad than uh louisiana it's it's just a known culture that exists because of slave trades of you know when uh they brought in the slaves from angola down um on the show on the shores there and with uh the portuguese ethnicity then they you know for for a fact that creoles exist in the state you feel me mm-hmm. that's all that was about but by far they are uh, you know shit spread it out a little bit of everywhere you know and that's the thing about them that some of them have so many different races tied up in them you never will really know because they appear in so many different you know what i'm saying like a lot of people just think that they're you know these light skinned yellow type high yellow pale i know creoles as black as the street outside with with curly wavy hair and shit you know these women out here trying to put roots on We came out the club one night and there was dead pigeons lined up in a L on one of my homeboys' hood. You know? <laughs> yeah. And I I I I watched the changes in him over through a, a period of time, you know what I'm saying? And um it was, you know, just one of those uh situations where uh he never did like you know tell me directly you feel me but i had my thoughts of you know who it may have been because it was you know we we was like ace boons i I knew just about everybody who that he was dealing with and who would really would have you know an agenda on him like that but i i think that it was it it was able to make a difference on him because he may have indeed been guilty of 
doing some type of wrongdoing to her. You feel me? Because I know for a fact, you know what I'm saying? My, my kid's mother is a liqueur. It don't get no more 100% than that. She's a fucking liqueur. You understand what I'm saying? And I know she done tried some shit on me throughout the years. I, I know for a fact she ain't never admitted it or told me. But I know she have because I know how evil her fucking ass can be. But it never has been able to take no type of toll on me. It because her grandmother had told her before she passed, spiritually I am more powerful than her. There's nothing you can do to him. You know what I'm saying? My belief is is more stronger than yours. And it, there is a chain command in that shit, but it's like, like I say, my homeboy, um, I think he, you know, came under, uh, under some type of spell of this particular girl because he did wrongdo her and wrongdo her in some kind of way. That's how, how I think that, you know, it possibly may have worked on him. But I, I ain't never just, you know, intentionally did nothing wrong to my kid's mother. So all the different evil shit that she done tried, <laughs> it never really worked, you know. But she was just be laughing when I asked her about some shit. But I know she have. I know how evil her ass can be. So, but, um, no, it's just, you don't, you, if you don't confide in that shit, like if you don't invest no type of belief off into it and don't go trying to challenge it in no type of way i don't think that it can have no kind of uh you know uh hold on you but like you go challenging that shit you know with the attitude of I know this shit ain't real so you know what I'm saying you just go and you know and then you fall victim to it in that type of way baby you can get your gun you can get your gun coming home yeah pretty baby been out all night long you can get your gun Coming home. Hey, coming home. 